never seen Bruce like that in my entire life. Wanna do it again? Why would we put a 500cc, the most powerful two-stroke liquid-cooled motor ever made, in a ATC 250 Ducati frame? Well, because suicide with razors is for pussies. <laughs> this thing's an absolute freaking rocket ship. It's been a long time coming. Um, it's no easy task putting together a uh, full custom frame up, build like this. The uh, Engine on this thing is an absolute rocket ship. With that big pipe on there and the open intake, it just it just pulls. I never got it out of fourth gear across the street, but it's like getting shot. It, you know, a 500 cc motorcycle, like a CR 500 or a KX 100, takes off good, but you got a skinny little tire on it. When you hook up, when these two big scat tracks hook up, these are expensive. This is $600 for a set of these. That's why I really don't even like driving it up and down the driveway. It probably shouldn't. It's not good for them, but I certainly wouldn't want to burn out in the tar. When it hooks up, it just, it's like getting pulled by a big rubber band. Seeds my expectations performance wise. I mean, of course you put a 500 CC in the 250 frame, it's gonna be fast, but it's smooth. It, it rides really stable it, in fourth gear. I couldn't get out of fourth, but it was, it was nice and stable. And you gotta get on the gas to turn it because it's a three wheeler. What a hoot this would bring, be to bring out to Sand Mountain. This is like the ultimate weapon for Sand Mountain or uh, Pismo, or if you have, uh, uh, if you want to take it out in, 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 the, in the Florida sand or, or mud, in the, I can't imagine in the snow what a hoot this thing would be in the snow. Um, it starts right up, first kick. The uh, entire bike's been gone through. It's got new mare plastic on it on the front, new front fender, new Ranthal bars, new Ranthal crossbar pad, new levers, new cables, uh, new grips. It's got a full Steiger graphics kit. And we, we, we called it, we actually called it because when we got it, it had a, uh, the fender was broken and it had a, a zip tied thing on there. And we said, why don't we, why don't we go with that theme? So she put the, the, uh, the uh, Frankenstein stitches on there and we called it Franker, Frankentrike, Monster of Mayhem. Uh, <laughs> you'll be the only kid in your neighborhood with a 500cc ATC. It's, it's an absolutely, it, it's, 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 it's a conversation piece. It's a show piece. Just listening to it to an idol is enough to make your hair stand up on end. Uh, it's got a brand new gold chain on the back. It's got the new Scat Track tires. It's got the polished aluminum Douglas wheels on here that are polished nicely. Um, just a kick-ass piece. Junior, you rode this earlier. What are your thoughts? It's just a super strong running early KX500 motor. Shane Kelly, our, our, uh, one of the guys that used to work with us, Chris, uh, the wizard's son, would describe this as a mix between an early CR500, a short rod motor, and the, uh, and the KX500, the late KX500. Just super hard hitting motor that the wizard got tuned just right. Uh, not a whole lot of vibration here. Super low idle. It's carbureted with the early key in. Uh, Freaking fantastic. Exceeded my expectations as far as riding it. Um, kick ass machine and total conversation piece. Now, we've been working on this thing for the better part of a year on and off. Uh, Christy got the graphics package together. We got the, the, the plastic kit for it. Um, it started coming together. Uh, you can see the detail shop po polished all the aluminum on it on the fork lowers, like chrome. The um, brake backing hub for the front brake is polished like chrome. The engine's been repainted. Uh, it was actually um, by car uh, uh, vapor blasted the cylinder, so it looks nice. The pipe was polished. The frame was repainted. The swing arm was painted. Uh, it's got a new, new uh, gold chain on it, like I mentioned. It's got the disc rear brake with the braided stainless line. Uh, the uh, suspension on it, the rear shock, is the original shock. Uh, you'd probably want to upgrade that if you're going to take it racing somewhere. Yeah, it needs to be rebuilt. Yeah, rebuilt or replace the shock. You're probably going to have it set up for your, your weight and riding. But if you're doing, if you're doing some racing and, and you want the ultimate we weapon, uh, this would be a hoot to take up the hill climb at Munson Mass, man. I mean, imagine rocketing up the hill on this thing, uh, or maybe uh, up at Gunstock. Just a kick-ass piece. It's one of a kind. I've never seen one before. I've never seen an ATC five, uh, uh, Ducati 500. Um, and it's uh, from, from, the, from the imagination of Mad Men, these things are created and 
it's a it's it's a it's a pretty big task, you know, uh, machining the motor mounts and, and and doing the mods on the frame to get the engine to fit. It's it's a kick-ass piece.